Hey there, it's Dustin Guthrie again with Schooner Bay Realty. And today I'm in North Fort Myers at this beautiful golf access home. It's got some great direct golf access. It's on this canal right here. You can see some of these huge vessels that you can get in and out of here. We're not very far away from open water, just a couple of minutes. There's waterfront restaurants nearby, all that great stuff. And this property is absolutely amazing. It's been completely redone on the inside. It's got a brand new roof. It's got all the bells and whistles and the hurricane impact safety glass in the windows and the doors. So without further ado, let's take a look at this beautiful place. I think it's one of the best priced properties in all of North Fort Myers right now. So if you're new to my channel, I'm a longtime Southwest Florida resident. I live right here with my beautiful wife and my three little kids, and I've been a full-time real estate broker here for almost 20 years. I do multiple videos every single week, including listing tours like this one, but I also do really important informational videos on the area, some of which aren't even related to real estate. They're just useful for folks that either live here in Southwest Florida now or are thinking of maybe moving to the area. So please subscribe to this channel if you haven't already, because you're going to get a lot of valuable free info from these videos. I want to help you as much as I can with these videos in the hopes that when you do end up looking to buy or maybe sell a property anywhere here in Southwest Florida, you'll give me a call first. And my contact info is down there in the description of this video. You can call, text, email me anytime, or simply just use that link down there to schedule a meeting with me. I promise you I'm not only going to work really hard and smart for you, but I'm also going to be a valuable resource for you for years to come in a lot of ways that you might not even realize. All right, let's dive into this incredible golf access home. This home is a really good size. It's a four bedroom, three full bath home, and it has just over 2,500 square feet of living area under air conditioning. And that doesn't include two big outdoor living spaces. It's got a big covered screen lanai and a large poured concrete patio out back. As you can see, starting here in the living room, the home has been completely upgraded and remodeled both inside and out. This is a nice open and modern main living space right here with the kitchen and the dining area opened up to the living room. There was an open house here today, so I actually waited for a lull in the traffic to shoot this video, but you can tell that this is a really great space for entertaining friends and family. We've got the nice big giant kitchen island right there where the food's all laid out. It's just a really great space to have an open house. Another consistently great feature throughout this whole house is the ample storage space. You can see there's tons of deep cabinets both above and below in the kitchen and take a look at this enormous walk-in pantry. I'm not sure if you can tell from this video but that kitchen island is absolutely massive and those quartz countertops look stunning against the top of the line stainless steel appliances, those beautiful white shaker cabinets and my favorite which is the really intricate tile backsplash. I think the accent from that color really makes everything pop in this room. Really just an impressive, open, modern chef's kitchen. You can see the wall oven right there with the microwave. I love this kitchen. Of course, here is the dining area, which looks out at the water frontage through these big slider doors right there. We'll get back to that lanai here in a minute. And in here is the owner's suite. This is a split floor plan with this owner suite on one wing of the house and the guest bedrooms and the guest baths on the other wing of the house. We'll get over there here in a minute. You may have noticed in the living room there's a fireplace and actually on the other side of that wall is the fireplace here in the owner's bedroom. And uh, right now it's not hooked up to a chimney outside but that could be done and you could have a wood burning fireplace in both of those rooms again if you wanted to. As we move toward the owner's bathroom in here, of course, you've got the big walk-in closet there on the right. These are actually dual closets, so that closet there on the left is yet another closet. And then here we have the owner's bathroom. Vanity matches the beautiful kitchen in there. Of course, we've got these slate tile floors. And this is a combo tub shower. It's got nice ceramic tile on the walls. And that's actually a jacuzzi tub. You can see the jets there. And of course, this owner's suite also looks out over the waterfront in the back through these hurricane impact slider doors out to the lanai. Okay, now let's take a look at the guest wing of the house, then we'll go outside. But first, one more look at this beautiful kitchen. This is such a great centerpiece to this house. So there's the front door where we came in. So this area is to the right of the front door there. It starts off with this nice landing area right here. This sort of serves as the central hub of the guest wing of this house. 
and you can see the owners have this set up as a sitting room slash library. It's really the perfect use for this space right here. Also has access to the lanai right there. So here's the first full guest bathroom. Just like everything else in this house, this bathroom has been completely redone and upgraded with really nice finishes. It also has that door that goes outside, and that means if a new buyer did put a pool onto this house, there would be access to that bathroom directly from the pool deck, so you wouldn't have to walk through the house to get to a bathroom from the pool. And here's the first of the three guest bedrooms. The owners have this set up as an office right now, which is a great use for this room if you didn't need that fourth bedroom. It also has access to the backyard and the waterfront from that slider back there. Here's the second guest bedroom, and this one is really large. You could even consider this a second owner suite because it does have a walk-in closet here, and it's also attached to a full bathroom. Here's the access to the concrete patio out here on the back side of the house. This is a really big area out here. It would be perfect for grilling. This is in addition to that lanai. Uh, the screen lanai actually on the other side of the house and we'll go out there in a minute. Notice the plantation shutters on all the windows in these rooms. That's a really nice upgrade here. Here's the walk-in closet. Like I said, there's plenty of storage in this house throughout everywhere. In the kitchen, in the bathrooms, in the, in the bedrooms as well. And now we'll go into the third full bathroom of this house and it's a Jack and Jill bathroom since it has access from the two guest rooms on either side there. This is also a huge handicapped shower, so it's a perfect place for multi-generational living. Uh, the current owners had their elderly father living here with them in this bedroom and bathroom, and it was a great place for him. And this is the final guest room. It's the fourth bedroom of the house. You might have noticed all the barn doors in this house. There's a bunch of them in different locations, and I think that just like the plantation shutters on the windows, they're really indicative of how this entire house has been upgraded with really nice details like that. This is also a really big bedroom too, just like that last one. All right, let's finish up the inside tour with the laundry room and the garage. The laundry room's over on the right side of the house and it's a pretty good sized laundry room. Again, with the barn door right there, that's a really nice touch. But this laundry room's nice and long. It's a, it's a mud room as well as a laundry room. It's got all this extra cabinet space here with the nice Quartz countertops, underhung stainless steel sink, of course washer and dryer right there, and then access to the great big driveway that we have here. And then let's go in the garage real quick. So this was a two car side loading garage, and it's pretty deep as well, and it is a true two car garage, so you can get two vehicles in here plus extra space for storage. Okay, now let's go outside and see the outdoor living spaces and the waterfront back there. First, one more time with the kitchen. I just had to. So this is the screen lanai. It's uh, really long. It basically runs the length of about two thirds of the house. It's got multiple entry and exit points. And this is a great place to sit by the water out here and eat meals or have coffee in the morning, maybe a cocktail at night or vice versa. Who am I to judge you? As we go out to the big backyard here, that white door on the right there is to that first guest bathroom that we toured. So this is the area where you could put in a pool. And there's enough room here in this yard to put in a really big one out here. This saltwater canal is really deep and really close to open water. There are several massive sailboats on this canal, so that means that you don't have to go under any bridges to get out to open water. And it also means that the canal itself is pretty deep throughout because the keels on those sailboats go down under the water pretty far. It's also a pretty wide canal. There's a huge basin at the end of this canal, and then it's only about five minutes to get out to open water at idle speed. There are several waterfront bars and restaurants right nearby, and they're even close enough to take a kayak to if you wanted to. Dolphins and manatees come up in this canal system all the time. So it's kind of a cliche amongst realtors to say this, but this house is really not gonna last very long. Once people realize what this is and uh, what's inside of here and this price in this neighborhood, I think this home's gonna sell pretty, pretty darn fast. So if you're interested in something like this, please reach out as soon as possible. Uh, you've got, I've got my contact information down there in the video's description. So reach out, call, text, email, whatever it takes. I'm happy to take your call, tell you a little more about this place. And if you wanna come take a look at it, either virtually 
uh, on FaceTime or something, or if you're uh, if you're down here locally and you want to see it in person, by all means, let's hop in the car and go take a look at this sooner than later. Because like I said, it's great price for this absolutely gorgeous house. So thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, please give it a like. And if you're not subscribed, please go ahead and subscribe to the channel. I think you're going to get a lot out of being subscribed to my channel. I try to provide as much value as possible. I do multiple videos every week, not just videos like this listing tour but informational videos on the, on the area as well. So thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video real soon.